Hey guys, uh, I installed a small 70 volt commercial speaker system in a store recently, Docs Comics and Games in Frisco, and uh, I wanted to share that experience with you. Uh, 70 volt speaker systems are a little bit different from some of the systems you've seen before. I just wanted to make this video and show you what they look like and how to put them in and that kind of stuff. So here it is. Uh, it's a sub in the middle, a Bose sub and two satellite speakers. Uh, one which I've already installed and then one I'm about to install. Here's the AV closet. There's the amp. I've got a crown amplifier with a 70 volt output and a small Behringer mixer which is going to allow them to connect a microphone and some uh, line level signal like just feed it music and that kind of stuff. So cables go up the wall into the ceiling to the first satellite speaker there and then it goes in parallel to the next speaker that subwoofer in the middle that Bose subwoofer and then finally we're going to connect this last speaker here. Uh, let's real quick let's take a look up in there. So there's a hole cut in the ceiling tile there's a metal bracket to hold the speaker because the weight of the speaker is too much for the, uh, for the ceiling tile by itself. So you have to have that metal bracket. Uh, here's the old speakers. Obviously no good. The speaker cones have big old holes in them and they are not going to sound very good in that condition. So we're replacing both of these speakers. Uh, again, I've already done one. I'm about to put in the second one. Uh, now these are 70 volt speakers. Uh, the speaker is the same, uh, but you'll notice that they have transformers attached to them. Here's a new one. This is a Dayton, made by Dayton. And you see that transformer that's actually bolted to the side of the speaker. There's the grill. So you can choose uh, which wire you want to connect. It's just two wires. Is the only You only use one pair of those wires, but the first wire on the left is ground, and then every wire after that, you can what's called tap it at a certain number of watts. So the first two are, are tapping it for 10 watt operation, which is the highest amount of watts for this particular speaker. If I wanted it to operate at five watts or two watts or one watt or less, I could have chosen one of the other wires, but I didn't. And then you can see that the output of the transformer is attached to the speaker there. All right, first step, we're gonna take the grill off of the speaker. I'm gonna use a very, very small flathead screwdriver to just sort of pry the grill off without scratching it too much. There it is. Okay, so we can see the speaker cone and a little tweeter in the middle there. And I'm going to lift it up and put it into place. I got to make sure that these tabs are off, are in the middle and not off to the side so it fits up in the hole. And then when I put a screwdriver in here and tighten these screws, the tabs flip out and then they squeeze down onto that metal support uh, and the ceiling tile on the other side. And that's what holds that speaker in place. So I'm tightening and tightening and tightening. I really should be using an uh, electric power screwdriver, so I'm going to fast forward this a little bit. I've got two, and I'm going to go for the third and fourth one now. There we go. Wipe off a little bit of the dirt there from my fingerprint. Okay, looks good. And now we're going to put the grill on. This is always a little bit tricky. You have to get it just right. So you line it up just right and give it a little squeeze on all sides and then you just kind of bump it up gently, gently. Don't dent it. Don't break the ceiling tile either. There we go. All right, the speaker grill is on. All right, so let's take a look upstairs again. So back there is above the AV closet. The wire goes from there to that speaker, then to the sub, and then we connect in parallel. All of this is in parallel. 
we're going to connect our last speaker here. Using that 10 watt tap. Uh, now I'm just going to be using wire nuts. Uh, there's no soldering required here. I've just stripped uh, all four of these wires and twisted the strands of copper together. And now I'm going to use a wire nut to connect ground to ground. And then another wire nut to connect the 10 watt tap on the speaker to the output of my amplifier. Here we go. And then make sure the wire's up above the ceiling. And we're going to close up this uh, ceiling tile, put some of that fiberglass back in place, fiberglass insulation. I really should be wearing long sleeves and gloves. This fiberglass can be pretty itchy sometimes. All right, gently, these can be fragile, these, uh, these drop ceiling tiles. So I'm gonna push the metal grid out of the way so the tile can drop into place, make sure there's no wires or insulation preventing me from getting that tile in place and there we go dropped into place looks good a sub and two satellite speakers all wired up go to the AV closet we're gonna turn on our amp I was doing all that wiring with the amp off it's important and then I turn the amp on Give it a second to boot up there and give it a little volume and it works great. Here you go. And that's it. Now the amplifier we're using is rated up to 250 watts. The two satellite speakers are 10 watts each and I've got the subwoofer set to operate at 50 watts. So I'm only using 70 watts out of that 250 that I have available. So we could keep adding speakers until we ran out of watts in this 70 volt system.